Live your life in full bloom. Don't you let anyone tell you that you cannot get ahead, that you cannot do anything that you put your mind to, that you can't get this job and you can't do this and go sit down. I don't care, okay? You do what you need to do to get ahead. You do what you need to get by. You do, if you got to raise your credit score, you do. You do it. If you got to pay off your debt, you do. You do it. Don't sit around and let them tell you you can't do it. Don't sit around and think, I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to get these bills paid. I'm never going to have a new credit score. I'm never going to have a place to live or something that I own, a house or a car. Stop saying those things. You are God's child. You are the son or daughter of the highest of the high. He's over everybody on this earth. They can talk. They can do what they want to. They can walk backwards. They can call you names. They can do whatever they want to, to you. But your father is watching, watching how somebody may speak to you, talk to you, do whatever. But you keep on going because you are in his favor, right? You are in his favor and you live life in full bloom. You do what you have to do to get where you got to go. Even if your friends, family puts you down, you know what? You can get where you're going. I always keep with me. It's in my car. I've copied it several times, typed it, whatever. And um, I keep it in my purse. I keep it everywhere. But I have eight things that, you know, sometimes you look at them like, Okay, I need a word, a quick word. I need this, I need that. So I'm going to share them with you. And it's about yourself, your self-worth, your feeling of happiness, okay? Your self-care. And when you're down like that, sometimes you need a word and sometimes you need to do something different. Sometimes you just need to step away for a moment. You know, you tell your spouse, your partner, the kids are having a little thing going on over there. And you say, you take care of that. I'll be but in five minutes. I'm going just to five minutes. Let me sit down somewhere, you know, or more. Just do something that frees your mind. Frees your mind with God so that he can come on back in because you kind of lost your mind. You know, we lose our mind every once in a while. Sometimes things get too much and people don't realize it and you're thinking it's you and it's not you it's just the circumstance of what may be happening and you have to decompress you just have to calm down and think things through we have to and sometimes when you come back it's better or you can work things out so here are the eight things tell yourself always it's in the Bible that you are capable. You're capable of doing anything, okay? Mark 10, 27, he, it says, and he says, you are capable of doing anything. Number two, you are enough. You're sufficient. God's enough. He's sufficient. He's there to work everything out. 2 Corinthians 12, 9, sufficient. I'm enough. I can do this. Just keep telling yourself you can do this. I'm here. I'm happy. I can get to where I got to go. Number three, remember that you are loved always, all the time by God. Jesus, even if they don't say anything to you or you can't, you're, you can't get there to him. Remember, he made you. He loved you because that's why you're here. He's taking care of you. You may not feel like you're being taken care of, but he's right there. You have to look, look around sometimes because he's over there and he's over here and you got to look around. He's in people. He's in animals. We don't know what's going on, but sometimes you got to look for him. But they're telling you, you're loved. Jesus and God says you are loved. Remember, you're victorious. You are victory in action. 
You can do what you want. You can be victorious in whatever you try to do. Even if you don't win, you're still victorious in God's eye. Romans 8, 37. Okay? Victorious. You're beautiful. Ecclesiastics 3.11. God made you in his image. No matter what color you are, no matter how people treat you, no matter if it's a racial thing and they're calling you ugly or whatever, okay? You're still beautiful. God made you. Because if they're saying something about your appearance and what you look like, they're making fun of God. And you should be probably, you'll probably reach out and start laughing at him. That's, you know, it's like, really? <laughs> you going to make fun of him right here, right now? Okay, he made you, he made me. Problem. <laughs> There's a problem here. This total disconnect, right? Ecclesiastics 3.11. Remember, you are amazing. You are amazing. Just think about it. He made you in this perfect image. Whether you're in a wheelchair, whether you can't walk, can't talk, can't see. And if you have all those, you should feel and feel really amazing and grateful that you have that and you're, that you're so amazing. My brain is working. I can do anything. I am amazing. I am the super fly of this year. Okay. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to do this because I know I'm amazing and that Jesus and God, they have my back. Remember that you are strong. Okay, you're strong. You can get through things. Think of the times that you got through when you thought you couldn't get through. Think of the times somebody may have passed away and you thought, this is the worst thing I ever went through in my life. But what happened? You're still here. You're strong. You got through it. You may not have been the happiest time, but you got through it. You may have lost your job. You're upset. Of course, you know. Mankind has forsaken you, as always. You know, that's what happens. They don't want you to be there. No, you got to go. You're too slow. You're too old. You're too whatever. Okay, You're too happy. We don't have happy people at this job, okay? So they, go, they proceed to get through with it like you need to leave. I need to call you in. Really, they sometimes they find their relatives to come in to work. They want you out. Okay, or some of the places have quotas. You know the quota thing. You have to do 5,000 boxes in at least 20 minutes. Sometimes three minutes. Some of y'all know how it works out there. They get going, and they don't care whether you hurt, they hurt. They just looking at you. Like, are you serious? So, but you are strong. You're going to get through it. Whether they told you you have no job anymore or anything else. Remember, you are worthy. You are strong. And the last one I keep with me, I am chosen. You're chosen. God chose you. Okay? He chose you to be here. And I don't know if I gave you the passage number for strong, being strong is Philippians 4.13. And chosen is 1 Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians, 1, 4, 4, 1, 4. But remember, you are chosen. So to go over them, you are capable. You are enough. You're sufficient. You are loved victorious in everything you do, beautiful, amazing, strong, and you are chosen. So take care, enjoy yourself, take time for yourself. Don't put your own self down because those words are what? Almost super amazing, okay? Take care, bye-bye.